Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and happy holidays. What I wanted to talk about is a continuation of the process of hair coloring because I thought it was all over and done, but it is not. I find that my hair is a little bit too yellow and I don't think you can really tell in this video at all, but in real life it looks a little bit too yellow. So I confided in the woman who convinced me that I should try to start coloring my hair at home instead, that it's a better thing to do, and she is absolutely right. So the lightest color that I got was a very light ash blonde shade. It left my hair a little bit too yellow and not much of an ash in it. So I confided in Floor, and that is her name, a beautiful, oh, she's such a beautiful looking woman. And um, yeah, it, I confided in her. She thought my hair looked great, but she knows she wants my hair to be a little bit more on the ash side, not the yellow, but it still looks really good. And of course, this section here is the part that um, was done by the hair salon. And this is how much my hair grew since I posted that video last summer. So this is um, a good thing, but this hair is really destroyed. It's a lot smoother than what it used to be, but um, yeah, I, I have to continue to keep my hair healthy, at least the scalp, let my hair grow so I could get all this newer hair going all the way down. And I'm not happy with the yellowness and you probably can't tell. So Floor was kind enough with her almost what, about 20, 25 years of experience with hair. Wow, and she even cuts her own hair. It's amazing, she did a fantastic job. And she, I think she cuts her grandchildren's hair and that kind of thing. Anyway, she's a very talented woman. And not only that, she's absolutely a very kind, warm person. So she suggested I tone my hair. Now, where she works, they don't sell toners. So she said I need to go to one of those hair supply place to get that. And I said, well, can I buy that? Because I'm not a licensed hairdresser she said absolutely so i contacted one near my workplace and made arrangements to pick it up at the door and proper protocols because we are in lockdown and basically i had to call as soon as i reach outside the door to say hello i'm here they got um, their machine out so i could tap my card close the door then they get the products and then they hand it over to me and this is what i got these two things and I've never done this before so I would love to get some comments if you've toned your hair how I should do this and my understanding is that I apply it from not absolutely right at the scalp here but close to it all the way down here now there's a little bit of white streak from the hair salon but all the way down but not literally right at the start of the bleach hair from the hair salon, just a little bit above it. Because when I put these products in, apparently it melts and blends and it, it just uh, stretches up and down the hair length. So I have something in my hair. So basically that's my understanding. I'm not too sure how much I'm supposed to put of these products. This is called a brand, um, I'm not familiar with high test cream peroxide volume 20 one to two level lift and I didn't even know to ask for this I called this store and said listen my hair is a little bit too yellow I was told I need to um, to tone it and what am I supposed to do and uh, basically they put it together and then handed it over this is a well named brand it is called permanent liquid hair toner so my understanding is that i need to mix these two and i don't know how much to put together and then i apply it on my hair and i think i'm gonna have to ask for my husband's help help with this and then leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and check it and i'm going to have to get a stand strand remove the product to see if it took it and apparently I'll be able to tell and then that's it and then if, if it's not coming off then um, I'm supposed to leave it on a little bit longer and then if I want to my understanding is 
with the leftover residue, I can actually bring it down and leave it for maybe five minutes or less and then wash it all out just to take out any brassiness down at the bottom. So if you have any comments because you had some experience with this, I would really, really appreciate it. So this is my next step to the hair coloring process. And thank you for joining me. Wanted to share it with you and wish me luck. Take care. Bye.